Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our 2020 is now virtual gala. As someone who cares deeply about social justice, the answer was, how could I not? And for me, the real question is, why aren't our mainstream Jewish organizations making this a top priority? It's an honor to be here with you all this evening and to have been asked to tell you how I came to join the Yafid board. It is not radical to say that every student who graduates from a school in New York should be able to access meaningful work, further education, or services to meet their needs and even to thrive. Access to basic education means freedom for black and brown students, for immigrant students, for disabled students, and yes, for ultra-Orthodox students. I saw the extent of manipulation and pressure that the rabbis and community leaders were willing to take to shut me down during my divorce and particularly around gaining custody of my children. Despite the fact that at that time I was very much part of the community. I personally saw how any dissent is considered unacceptable. I then made a decision that I will speak up whatever the cost and do my part to ensure that the right thing is done for my children and the thousands of other children in New York State who deserve an adequate education. The state allowing kids born into ultra-Orthodox communities to be stripped of a basic education is really just taking away their opportunities in life and taking away their ability to choose what they want to make of themselves. What we need to do is not easy. We need to look past the enticing negativity and always remember that Yafid's mission is simple, ensuring that every kid, regardless of birthplace, has an education that can unlock their potential and ensure a self-sufficient and sustainable life. Uh, but we became aware of some real gaps and some real problems. And it's very frustrating that we have not been able to resolve them yet and that we have not been able to come up with an approach that uh, creates a coalition. You know, this coalition has been wonderful and the work you're doing is fabulous, but we haven't been quite at, you know, able to get it over the finish line. But that is sometimes the way in New York politics, as someone who worked on farm worker rights for over 20 years. Um, it's not easy to uh, perhaps push social change as much as when you first get involved, you think it's going to be so, of course, it's a wrong. How do we write it? But sometimes it takes quite a while. Those who subscribe to the notion of Torah umada, of realizing a Torah life together with the pursuit of scientific and secular knowledge, had a special responsibility to be advocates on this issue and to work against a growing phenomenon by which the general society can only come to the conclusion that orthodoxy has the opposite commitment. My work in supporting Yafed and my commitment to the goal of ending the educational neglect of tens of thousands of Haredi children is inseparable from my commitment to Klal Yisrael, to the Jewish people as a whole, and comes only from a place of Ahavat Yisrael, of loving every Jew, of wanting every Jew to realize their full potential. Many Jewish organizations will fight for every oppressed group in the world, but will rationalize or even romanticize the major human rights violation in Jewish communities just a few miles away from their homes. But what we can't do, what is immoral to do, is operate as if our own community is free of poverty, abuse, and neglect. It is unfortunately not. I couldn't ask for a better crowd to celebrate the end of a year in which we gave it our best and we made a big difference. Thank you and happy Hanukkah to you and to your families.